Hey you guys, this is Mr. Cell. Let's go ahead and simplify this uh, expression here, or this function. Alright, so let's look at each part uh, separately. So the first part that we're going to look at is up here in the top left. It's x squared minus 3x. So we got x squared minus 3x. Let's just see if we can factor anything out of this, just to make it uh, a little bit easier to see if we can cancel anything out after we have that division. So uh, we see that there's an x in common for both terms, so we can factor out at least an x. And what's left on the inside? From the x squared, we would have 1x left over. It's minus, and from the 3x, we would have the 3 left over. So in the new expression, uh, in the top left, we'll have the green there. Now let's look at the 2x. The 2x can't be simplified any further or factored in any way, so it's just going to remain 2x. When we look at x cubed minus 27, this is a difference of cubes problem. So in other words, we have a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times the quantity a squared plus ab plus b squared. And from here, we just got to recognize what the a and b are. And from what we have up here, a is x. And a 27 is a perfect cube. But that's 3 cubed. So in the parentheses, we've got a, which is x, minus b, which is 3. And then in this other set of parentheses, a is x again. Uh, so we're going to square that. a is x. But uh, since b is a number 3, we're just going to make it a coefficient of x in the front. Um, and then b, of course, is 3. So we're going to square that. And that then becomes a 9. So that's what, what will be in the bottom left. And we can see from this that the what we have in green is above it. So x minus 3 will be divided by this other x minus 3. We know there's going to cancel out, which we will do in a moment. Now let's look at what we have um, in purple parentheses there. And that is 2x squared plus 6x plus 18. All of these values, all three of these terms, have even numbers. So we know we can at least factor out a 2, right? So let's go ahead and go through each of these and divide by 2. We got 2x squared divided by 2, which would be 1x squared, or just x squared, plus 6 divided by 2, which is 3, so we got 3x, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. And it looks like that's all we can factor out uh, from that. If we try to find two factors of 9 that add up to 3, we will not be able to find any. So let's go ahead and rewrite this function, but now with what we have factored out. So this is what we have now, and since we're dividing the polynomial there on the right, let's go ahead and just reciprocate that so that we can multiply. So this is what we have now after reciprocating the fraction there on the right, and if we multiply we can just make this one big fraction like this, and then we're just going to hunt for um, any multiples or factors that that can be canceled out. For example, x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is 1, so they cancel out. Here we've got a 2, and then another 2 here in the numerator and denominator. 2 divided by 2 is 1. But we also have this x squared plus 3x plus 9 divided by this x squared plus 3x plus 9. And if we divide those two together, we would get 1 as well. And notice I'm using different marks to show which parts are canceling out the other parts. So on this x, we'll also cancel out this other x. Now we could have rearranged those so that they are above and below each other, but just for the sake of time we're just going to cancel those out using cross simplification. So what do we have left? If we look here, there's nothing left in the numerator or denominator, which means that uh, we can multiply each of those by 1. Or in other words, we have f of x equals 1 over 1, which is the same thing as saying uh, that f of x equals 1. 
And that would be our final answer. If it asked for restrictions on the domain, uh, then we may be able to say that uh, x, first of all, um, x can't equal 3. Um, looks like x can't equal 0 either. And uh, that's all I can see in this. If we look to factor this, again, it, it wouldn't factor out completely, meaning that um, the values of x that would make that 0 are not real anyways. So when x is 0 and x is 3, it would give us restrictions on the domain. It didn't ask for that, so I assume you don't need to worry about it.